I think I already asked if your apps are native. They're all native Android apps, right? Yeah. And what's your opinion about cross-platform? Have you looked into that? Stuff like Flutter or React Native? What's your opinion about that? Yeah, I've looked into it a little bit. So React Native, um, I, I think so. There's two things, right? I think Flutter probably going forward, and I think like five years maybe, is probably a very safe bet if you want to get a job like that's going to be part of the future of app development because it's cross-platform and it works so well um i think react native is not going anywhere but i'm not a huge fan of like javascript on mobiles essentially like that's not my thing um and then in terms of like a kmp and stuff like that i think so i know like um mitch tabian did some videos and he was very into like you know this could be better than flutter i think it depends but for me like kmp is great for cross-functional um like cross-functional like logic so you know you have you're, you're working for a client they have an ios app they have a web app they have a phone app and you all want to share the same logic you could do something with like that with kmp and i've looked into doing stuff like that before because then it means basically all your logic's in one place but also all your bugs are in one place so you fix it in one place and it fixes it everywhere um but i think in terms of app development probably like i'm very I'm probably like 80% sure that Flutter is the future and in five years time we're all going to be writing Flutter apps is kind of where I'm at with it mostly because I don't feel like Google would pump so much time and effort and money into something that they would then just let die in favor of you know Android and Kotlin and stuff like that so that's kind of my gut feeling on it but then at the same time Google builds stuff all the time that they just kill for no reason. Yeah so I was just it, about it, to yeah, say they're, they're notorious for that. Maybe that's absolutely not true I don't know. Yeah, but KMP also feels like a relatively safe bet to me. Yeah. I think it's it's like a middle ground be between completely native or not. I guess KMP is also native, but a middle ground between writing completely different apps for Android and iOS, but also flat on the other side. KMP seems to lie in the middle somewhere. Yeah. With KMP, I mean Kotlin multi-platform. Yeah. The benefit of this seems to be that you are closer to the middle. You are because you write these platform specific UI code, yeah. right? And you were, uh, I think the, I think a, a problem with Flutter is that you often uh, don't have quite as good access to these system services like Bluetooth and stuff like that. I think you need a special plugins for that or yeah. special adapters. It's like, it's like React Native, like you have to have, essentially somebody has to build a library to work with that thing that you want it to work with. But I think the the upside for Flutter for me is that the UI element is entirely handled inside Flutter. Mm. So they can update that as they go along and it's much smoother than writing it, like, which is crazy, but it, it runs smoother than running a native app. So I think if they figure out that piece or they get that, native piece into a place where it's really easy to do all the things as it is natively then i don't see any downsides to using it um, and same with kmp but i think because kmp still runs like it still has to cross compile into you know android ui code or ios ui code whereas flutter runs in its own engine so essentially it's like running a game on a game engine you know they know exactly what's being displayed because all they tell the system that's being displayed is a blank window and they get to draw everything in there themselves Flutter is definitely also faster to set up and build an app than KMP. Yeah. But I also want people to not panic now when you said that Flutter is the future. Native app development will probably still be around in a few years. Oh, yeah, 100%. If you're talking about to get a job, Flutter is the future in like 15 years because companies are very, very, very slow at doing anything. Like I still work for companies that have Java code. So that is definitely not something to worry about. 